Hi Stays, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're here from the Cypher video, which I hope you are, because this was like in in part with that. Um, but we have scars. I'm super excited. It is finally midnight, so I'm finally ready to listen to this. Um, I've waited a long time. I feel like everybody on my Twitter timeline was just like enjoying the song, and I just had to like sit here and wait. But that is okay. The wait is 100% gonna be worth it because I know this is gonna be an exceptional song. But like I said, I just listened to Cypher. Um, so I'm gonna put like the lyrics to both Cypher and Scars like side to side once I'm done um, to kind of like see the similarities uh, because I know some of y'all have said there are similarities between the two. Um, also like that Cypher is like fresh on my mind so I can hear if like sonically it's similar to Scars. I know y'all said this is a more emotional piece but not entirely emotional um, or it doesn't sound entirely emotional. So I'm, I'm just like, I have no idea what this is going to sound like because I, I have stayed away from everything that could possibly play the song for me. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited to get into this. I'm going to be listening to it on Spotify and looking up the geni genius English lyrics. But for my video, I'm going to put up a lyric video. I'm sure someone has already done that. I don't know. Um, but if not, I'll find something to put on the screen. But just know I'm like not watching a lyric video. So, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get into Scars. I never cry because I know that I'll never change. Okay. okay. There were so many things I liked in that. Oh. 
Okay. I definitely, lyric-wise, noticed similarities between Scars and Cypher. Especially, uh, Chogman's line was, at the beginning, the verse one, was almost the same. If I want to say. Let me go back to Cypher. Yeah. So, because the Cypher lyrics are like, shoes cracked, stretched out tea, but... um. Scar's lyrics are worn out sneakers, old fashioned. So it's, yeah. And it, I bet it's it's probably the same thing, but this is um, in Japanese and that was in Korean. And so the English translations are going to be kind of different. Um, let me see. I feel like I, I noticed other similarities. I mean, it's like Han said, I'll show all my scars. Chongman talks about, I won't cover them. I'll show all I've got in Cypher. But uh, there's definitely similarities between the lyrics, for sure. Now, there was one part towards the end. I want to see if I can find it. Yeah, there was like a drum part uh let me see right before like 255 it was like just um just a regular drum pattern but then it was like goo 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 um and it's kind of like that quarter note triplet uh effect that Chongbin had at the very beginning of cypher um so even if they didn't like mean or it wasn't like purposefully done um i like that the the rhythmic sound is kind of connected the instrumentation on this especially at the beginning was really really busy um and i know like some people don't really like that um because it's hard to grasp in the ear but i love really chaotic instrumentations um it's just like i don't know i just really like it but uh oh there were i talked about this on twitter ironically I was more responding to something than just like stating it, but I love how, I love the stylistic choices Stray Kids makes with autotune. Um, cause there was one part, cause it's usually, at least for this song, I felt it was Han that they utilized it on. And I love Han's autotuned like voice, uh, because his voice is already super bright, um, and brings a lot to uh, the piece in general. Um, but when they use auto-tune, it just brings a different effect to it. Um, especially like the little oh woes. Um, and then there was a part at the end that he sang. I don't remember where exactly it was. Um, I'm looking at the lyrics, but I can't find it. Yeah, I'm not sure where exactly it was, but you could just feel the impact of Han singing. It might be the very last thing he sings. Let me check. I just feel like I heard a lot of emotion from Han. I heard a lot of emotion from everybody, but like, I, I, Han. <laughs> Uh, speaking of everybody, vocals in this song were so good. So, so good. Um, like, I, I don't say a lot because I don't like to overpower the song with my voice. Um, so I'll usually just make like a sound like a ooh or something like that. Um, or a wow or whatever. But every time I did that in this song, it was because the vocals were, like, overwhelming. I think I said something about Lino at the beginning. Uh, Hyunjin. The Chongbin to Hyunjin verse one. Whoo. I love aggressive rapping Hyunjin. Like, Elevator, District 9, all that. My cup of tea. I think I said in a previous reaction. Actually, I know for a fact I said in a previous reaction that I love... Um, 
or I recognized Shenzhen as a rapper before I even recognized him as a dancer because that's because Elevator and like District 9 were one of the first few songs I heard from Stray Kids so um I've always really loved Hyunjin rapping so um of course when I'm not on camera and I can like actually stare at my computer and I have my glasses on because I can't really clearly see the lyrics and I can't wear my glasses because I'll have a glare on the lenses but um I can do a better job of like analyzing the lyrics but I know y'all have said that it's basically attributes to um their journey from trainees to now. So I'm really excited to see how they portray that story in the MV. Um, because looking at those stills, I was just stunning. I think I used the, or not I think, but like the firework shot. I'll get onto that in a sec. Um, that's my like header for Twitter because I loved it so much. But the fireworks, just like inserting them in the background. Um, I know a lot of people don't like maybe like sound effects in a song. Um, but I really enjoy it. I think it brings a, a different type of aspect to the song. Um, whether it's like clapping or like cheering or fireworks, just anything. Um, if it can, sometimes I can understand it can take away from the song, but if it's done correctly, it further enhances it. Um, and I'm pretty sure, uh, I didn't know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the sound effects from the MV, but a lot of the times the sound effects people have from the MV, they won't have, it won't translate into, um, like, their Spotify recording of it. Like, I know, um, the first example that comes in is, uh, like, the Red Velvet Psycho MV sound is different from the Spotify sound. And honestly, I prefer the MV because it, it like... It has all those extra little things in it. Um, it feels very stripped on Spotify. So I like that they kept that in. Um, because I'm assuming it's going to be from the MV. I really like a lot about this song. I kind of want to listen to it again. But I feel like this is this is already like a really long reaction for a song. It's already 13 minutes. Um, but... I feel like there's more I wanted to talk about, but didn't really, I'm missing something. You know what? We're going to listen to it again, because I know some of y'all don't care. Um, if you don't want to listen to it again, that's fine. You can skip this part, but let's listen to it again, just so I can, like, catch anything I missed the first time. I'll never cry because I know that I'll never change. Also, the beginning of this song and the end of this song is very different. Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so I figured out the Han part I was talking about earlier. It's the bridge. And that bridge is stunning. Like, to go from, like, through all of them, but to start with Lino and his very, very pretty um, vocals, to end it with Han and, like, the very impactful My Scars, I Will Show It All. It's just kind of like a build-up to it, into that last chorus. Speaking of chorus... That chorus is the part I was talking about that was like extremely busy, but I think it just builds up the rest of the song and then um, it kind of cut back when you go to the refrain um, from Sungmin and then it does the same thing throughout the song. Um, it gets really, really big and heavy um, when Han does the chorus and then Felix and Han harmonize and then it kind of cuts back to um, Lino on the bridge and then that build up into the last chorus. Uh, this song is so good. There's just so many aspects of this song that I really like. I told y'all, Japanese releases just hit different. They're so good. Um, I don't know what it is. Like, I didn't forget how much I loved All In because I will always remember how much I love All In. But listening to like All In and listening to Slump and things like that, they're just... <sighs> They're just, they hit different. I don't know what it is, but they're just so good. Uh, but I love this song. Can't praise the guys enough for this one. It was exceptional. Um, so I I can't wait to hear the rest of the album. I, I don't have the money to buy the album. But you know how much, like, better this reaction would have been if I could just, like, chill here in a nice little Scars hoodie? This would have been perfect. Um, I want that hoodie so bad. But I I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. Um, if I can manage to find the money for it. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Um, if you haven't seen my Cypher reaction, I talked a little bit about the correlation and things like that um, in that. So I would definitely suggest go checking that out. Honestly... For that effect, I would probably drop Cypher first so that people watch that one and then drop Scars. Um, because I, the two correlate. And the only reason I did them separately is um, just in case this one gets blocked. And I really hope it doesn't because I really enjoyed this reaction. There were a lot of aspects to it that um, I probably could have further explained. But um, I, I enjoyed uh, this one a lot. But um, yeah, I hope... You guys enjoyed this as much as I did, but uh, I can't wait to put this on my playlist. Like, I actually, can I put it on my playlist for my computer? I'm sure I can. Uh, add to playlist. Yeah. I really should change the name of my playlist because it's like K-pop, but really only SM Town. But I have so much more music on there that besides SM. Um, but it's really just SM and JYP at this rate. So, um, but thank you guys for continuing to love and support the channel. Love, uh, reacting to the kids. They did an exceptional job with this one. Again, Tommy did an amazing job with Cypher. Um, 
We listened to some good music tonight. I usually don't do reactions at 1230, or at least I haven't done a reaction this late in a while. Um, so I hope it comes out better than most of my reactions that are at this time. But uh, be on the lookout for my next Stray Kids reaction. Um, I reacted to the units behind today because I couldn't do that a while back. But hopefully, now that they're settling down, I say that they just released a Japanese album and they're about to release a Japanese album. But um, I can get back to their old content because there's a lot of stuff I still need to see and there's a lot of songs I'm still missing out on, especially like the B-sides of their later stuff. So um, definitely we'll get into that. But with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye, Stays!